So, I got the cops calling me. Yeah. So, what the, what the reason is, is this lady. So, this lady, we were in uh, uh, the big lots. And this, this lady was lost her phone pretty much, right? And so she came to the cashier and asked her if she saw a phone. The cashier said no. So, she asked us. And then it, it, it lo apparently it looked suspicious because Corey bent down and said something to me. I don't remember what it was. And, um, and so we said, no, we didn't see your phone. So Blaine bought his stuff and pretty much we left. We went to the car. We went to the car. We were talking for a minute. Her friend came towards the window and said, my friend thinks you're, my friend thinks you're, you stole her phone pretty much. She said that she saw a phone in your back pocket, and when she asked y'all about it, she was looking for phone. We don't have no phone, ma'am. I was like, no, I didn't steal her phone. And then her, and then the girl came over there and was like, "Had you just steal my phone?" I was like, no, we didn't steal your phone. And then she's like, well, I'm calling the cops. I'm calling the police. Also, by the way, the girl was like, get just. She started yelling, and she was like. Just give me my phone. Just give me my phone. One of my friends. Were you whispering to him about my phone? Well, I'm whispering to him about your phone. Connor's talking. I'm gonna go chill. Talk to you first, Connor, you're here. Okay. And I was like, ma'am, I don't have your phone. She, she was yelling at us pretty much. And um, then this happened. Then she was like, um, she was pretty much like being. I mean, she was okay. She wasn't mean and mean, mean, but she was like, like I felt like not harassed, but like I felt like um I was getting like like I felt like she was like holding me against my will to stay there and get out of the car, pretty much. That's a different story. So then I felt like I was being like I felt like. If I was like, she wouldn't let me go, and then she was like, "Get out of the car, well, get out of the car, so I can see if you have your um phone." Pretty much is what she was saying. Connor, I'm not getting out of the car. I don't no, see it. You don't. You don't have to get out of the car. Just go like to your back car. Why well, would I have the phone, Corey? I know. I don't know. I don't need. I need Sorry, to see you grab the phone. Calling Nana. Back right pocket. Calling Nana Mobile. Right. Because whenever I asked you guys about a phone, y'all were acting suspicious because you started whispering to him. And I was like, I'm not getting out of this car because you know how all this rioting and stuff is going around in the world at this moment. So I was like, she could have a gun, she could have a knife, she could have something to hurt me. So I wasn't getting out of that car, you know? So then, um, Blaine's mom arrived pretty much. After my mom, well, after my mom. Oh, shoot, I'm really they think, worried. Do you think we stole, do uh, you think I stole her phone? And I was, so she was behind us, and I accidentally, like, was whispering something to Blaine, and she, she said that we were stealing her phone, because she lost her phone. And, um, yeah, then the mom, the mom was panicking, Blaine was having a heart attack, I was having a heart attack, Corey was almost crying. And then, yeah, I'll tell you the rest of the story in just a second. And then Blaine's mom got there and she was like, so what's going on? And then like, um, I'm trying to hold this tripod down, sorry. And then like, how do you think mom, uh, Blaine's mom act, acted? She was literally about to have a heart attack, literally. Asked him about her phone. No and phone then so the Connor had pocket. his phone in the back pocket. So the police got there. Um, she did, yeah. So then, the, my papa got there. I know, I hate to be that. So we're, the lady that just walked back in accusing yeah. you? Yeah. 
And I, I, she was like, get out of the car so I can see. I'm not, I'm not getting out of the car until my mom's here because I, yeah. all this rioting going yeah, on. Yeah, well, your grandmother just called me too, so. Yeah. No big deal. And then the police were pretty much like, she's stupid for doing this. She's making herself look stupid. And you have nothing, you guys have nothing to do with this. Like, it's not your fault. I hope she apologizes to you. Um, she came out and she was like, oh, I have the phone. I have the phone. And then she was, and then she was like, it was in the back of the store. Where was it? I was like, where was it? It was back there laying on the aisle. What she pretty heck? much apologized and said, here's 40 bucks, go buy yourself some dinner. <laughs> you don't have to. No, you don't I have to. Yes, yes, because I don't, I felt bad because the owner was like. And, um, yeah, that's the story of, um, our almost getting arrested video. Yeah.